Good morning to you. It is 5.30 here on your Friday. Happy Friday to you, Chet. You it is, <laughs> thank you so much, <laughs> it is looking more and more like the federal government will go into that partial shutdown, as Mark Liverman just mentioned, tonight at midnight. Yeah, President Trump demanding funding for his border wall, but Democrats are refusing to budge. CBS's Mark Liverman is in New York with the details. Congress has until midnight tonight to pass a spending package that President Trump will sign. Otherwise, a partial government shutdown goes into effect. I've made my position very clear. Any measure that funds the government must include border security. Has to. Hearing that message yesterday, House Republicans ignored what the Senate passed earlier this week. Aye. A bill with no new money for a border wall. The president said he will not sign this bill. Instead, the House passed a package that includes $5.7 billion for the wall. The A's are 217 and the A's are 185. But it's essentially dead on arrival in the Senate where it needs Democratic support to pass a 60-vote threshold. The Trump temper tantrum will shut down the government, but it will not get him his wall. The Senate will take up the bill this afternoon. House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy hopes for a compromise. The House has now passed a bill. The Senate has passed a bill. Now we find where the common ground lies. The White House is digging in for a fight. Anybody that didn't know that the president wanted border security in any funding bill simply hasn't been paying attention. Press Secretary Sarah Sanders said President Trump will not travel to Mar-a-Lago for the holidays if the government shuts down. Mark Liverman, CBS News. By the way, more than 800,000 federal workers will be furloughed or forced to work without pay if that deal isn't reached by tonight. We'll continue to follow that story here on Montana This Morning and later on CBS This Morning. Certainly. I've been following it all week and there yep. is more to go. Yep.